Hi, my name is Anthony, and this is my Norse Pagan journey. And today, I'm here to talk a little bit about Norse Paganism and tattoos. Uh, I'm going to give a little bit about the history, which there's not a ton. Not a ton of history at all. Uh, I'm going to give a little bit about that history of tattoos and what... There's, like I said, there's not much at all, but I'm going to give that little bit of history and then I'm going to go in and talk about some more popular tattoos that Norse pagans get today. So without further ado, let's kick this one off. Like I said, there's not really that much history or anything in the lore or really anything about our ancestors, the Norse pagans, the Vikings, whoever you want to call them, having any kind of tattoos. There's not. Uh, there are a couple things, a couple of spots in different texts that say, you know, maybe this, this, and this, and I'm going to go ahead and I have it here written down, uh, that way I don't mess anything up for you guys, but I'm going to give you guys that little bit of information, uh, and that's really all there is about the history of tattoos within this culture, uh, and you guys can take from it what you want, like I say in every single video, take from it what you want, because it's going to be up to your own interpretation, because even some historians, some think this, some think that, nobody knows, because we don't have any archaeological record of an actual hey, we found this body, and this body still had uh, preserved skin. Like, they found one in, uh, I forget where they said it was. But they found this body from the Neolithic age, and there was actually tattoos on this princess. And she was buried so deep in the ground, and being cold, and all these different things kept her skin kind of there a little bit, and they could find these things. With, uh, with us, and the, our ancestors, and the, the Vikings, and the Norse pagans, and whoever, the heathens, whatever you want to call them, there's not that many. So. Uh, with, with all that being said, the history really, uh, really starts with Arab travelers, uh, a couple coming out of Spain, some coming out of the Middle East, and they were traveling up towards Russia. And when they got to Russia, they saw these, uh, people, they call them the Rusia, uh, or the Rus Vikings. And also they found, uh, some Swedish, some Swedish Vikings. And... When they saw them, this man named, I'm sorry, I'm going to read it so I don't mess it up for you, uh, Ahmad ibn Falan, uh, he met these war Norse warriors, uh, he mentioned in his text that all the men were tattooed from their fingers, from the tips of their fingers to their necks, and their tattoos look like trees. So from that, what can we take from that? That's, that's literally the biggest text that we have where they say anything about, you know, this is, somebody wrote this, it's a primary source from that time, somebody wrote this, and that's what happened. Uh, so to me, what I think that means is that if they had a tree in the, well, the tattoos look like trees, is that Yggdrasil? You know, uh, that's, that's one of the big things. I'm sure that they had other tattoos maybe that they couldn't see at the time, but is it, is it Yggdrasil? That's, that's my guess. That's my guess. Uh, let me see. It says they had prominent markings. So, and then aside from that, uh, that writing about tattoos the only other thing that we have that mentions even close to anything about tattoos is in uh is in the edda where it's in sigdra uh sigdra Thumal, where they mention carving magic runes on the body now again does this really mean like they're carving tattoos is it tattoos or are they actually taking like a razor or something sharp or a knife and cutting the rune into their skin. Uh, I'm not going to tell you guys to do that because that's not that's self defamation. Don't don't carve stuff into you if you don't want to. You mean it's all up to you. But just <laughs> just throwing that out there. But or did that mean they painted it on? Uh, or did it actually mean a real tattoo? Yeah, who knows? We don't know. We don't know. So you got to take from that little bit of what I just said and the history and all these different things. Take from it what you will because really. That is all there is about the history of tattoos within Norse paganism. There is not much. Now, a lot of, uh, like the TV show The Vikings, what they pull from is they pull from the, what the Arab travelers saw. Uh, 
how they were just covered in tattoos. And you can tell that in a lot of the in a lot of the scenes in the videos or in the movie or TV show because they are covered in tattoos. I mean, you look at Ragnar when he's when he's done when he dies and his head is just covered. You know, Loki the same thing or Floki. I'm sorry, Floki the same thing. Uh, even Uba gets you know tattoos on his face, his arms, Bjorn, everybody. So they take from what they uh, what they saw with the the Rus and the Swedish Vikings. Uh, so really, that's that's it for the history, and that's that's really it's really all there is. I, I can't put it in any other terms. Uh, so now I just want to go in and hit you know more popular tattoos today. What today's more popular tattoos look like, and. Uh, another thing, the reason I made this video is I just got mine. Uh, I got Hail Odin with a binding for my son's, with my son's initials in the middle. Uh, so that's what I'm going to hit it off first is runes. A lot of people will get things written on them in runes. Uh, it's, it's a normal, it's just, it's not a, it's not a crazy, you know, off the wall, big tattoo for me. Uh, but it's just something small that's meaningful to me. Uh, and I got it in place of my oath ring because my oath ring, which I still have, it's sitting on my altar right now. Uh, my oath ring had sharp like ears on the wolves on it. So it kept cutting my son every time I get to play with him. And I couldn't keep doing that to him. So I talked to Odin one day and told him. And I came up with the idea of getting a tattoo. So that's what I did. And while I was getting the tattoo, I kind of made another oath to Odin, which is personal to me. Uh, it's the same oath that I had before. It's just a new, it's, I renewed it, I guess you could say, with the tattoo uh, being like the oath ring. So another big one is uh, the Helm of All, which is supposed to be for like a warrior or uh, represent protection. It's an Icelandic magical stave, uh, which I'll get into more of these when I talk about symbols. But for right now, I'm just going to hit, you know, what these are. Uh, the next one is the Valknut, which we've all known and we've all seen. It kind of represents Odin. Uh, you just got to watch with what you... Some people don't like that one. Some people take that as being this or that, and I don't. I think it's fine. It's it's our symbol, you know. Uh, but it was also found on archaeological objects in uh, old Germanic times. So could they have tattooed that on themselves? <laughs> very well. They very well may have. Uh, we don't know because, like I said, we don't have any actual evidence, but they very well may have. Um, Idrisil, we already talked about that, the Tree of Life, the Great Tree, the World Tree. Uh with Idrisil, that could be one of the earliest ones that we actually know that they may have actually gotten tattooed on themselves. Uh, like I said about the history and the trees and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the next one is Mjolnir. A lot of people, you know, we wear Mjolnir here uh, for strength and protection, but getting it tattooed on you can mean the exact same thing. Uh, which I've been thinking about doing, actually just getting this tattooed on me. Uh, but I, I don't know what I'm going to do, you know? <laughs> but seriously, still, you can still do that. Uh, uh, the Veg Vizier, which is like a compass. It's supposed to be like a compass, whether it be your moral compass or an actual compass to where you don't get lost as you keep it with you. Uh, my pop socket on the back of my phone is a Veg Vizier. Uh, so I can't get with me everywhere. So there, there's that one. That's another Icelandic uh, magical save. Then we also have the runes and bind runes. And that's that's really... It's really it. The runes, like we've talked about before, they're magical. Uh, it's like a set of like an alphabetical letters, but they're also very magical uh, with what they do. And th that's for another video as well. Uh, but last but not least, I want to hit on something very, 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 very quickly. But it's also one of the biggest points I will make in this video. And just watch the tattoos that you get. If you do decide to get a tattoo with anything I've talked about or anything that is uh, pagan or Norse or anything related, be, please be careful because the white supremacist movements are stealing our symbols. Uh, and it's very, very annoying. It's pathetic uh, that they have to steal symbols from a group that was not at all supremacistical, whatever the hell the word is. I'm sorry. Uh, it, it really fires me up. And it really it pisses me off that they do that. So you guys need to really just watch out what you get. Uh, there's a lot of websites out there where you can look up their the symbols that they have stolen from us, and you can take those and then say, "Hey, I'm you know I really wanted to get this, but these jerks stole this from us, so we're not going to get it." Uh, so just please be careful with what you get. Uh, you don't want to get someone to 
mistaken that you have oh hey well this is actually this tattoo but i've mistaken it and now i have a tattoo that a white supremacist has or something like that but you just gotta watch out i know it sucks and i'm sorry to say this but you just you gotta watch what you do all right uh with that being said that's all i'm gonna hit on in this uh tattoos video it's it was really quick and to the point because there's not really that much historical evidence uh like i said you just need to watch like i said what you get because it's a it's, it's a big deal to a lot of people uh and then we did hit on what excuse me what kind of tattoos are more prominent nowadays in north Spain. so uh with that being said i'm, I'm going to complete this video here talking about the tattoos but i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching my videos and staying with me here uh, i know it's been about a two-week hiatus here i took I went on vacation went to spain uh to the beach and had a great time and kind of just let loose you know i did take a couple pictures here and there on uh for my stories here for you guys on instagram but uh for the most part i tried to stay away from social media stay off my phone uh didn't even carry my watch nothing with me tried to stay off of everything that way it was kind of for me and my family just to relax um but thank you guys for sticking with me it, it really means a lot uh We've hit almost 2,000, I forget, 400, 300 something subscribers. Uh, my the beginner's video is almost at 18,000 <clears throat> views. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the support you guys have given me. But if you could please go ahead and like and subscribe this video, or like and comment, uh, go ahead and subscribe. That way we can get these videos out to as many people as possible. That way we can reach my goal of helping at least one person along their journey. Because if I can help at least one person along my journey, or along their journey, then my goal is complete. So I just want to say thank you guys so, so, so much again for watching this video. And once again, my name is Anthony, and this is my Norse Pagan Journey.